Good morning, everybody. Uh, Christmas Eve. How everybody doing? I'm heading down on our junkyard adventures. We're gonna head down to the uh, junkyard to, I gotta take back the old engine from the Jeep and uh, pick up some more parts. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, it's uh, down in Fort Worth, so it's like an hour drive, just about almost like 45 minutes. Uh, so I could pick up some more parts and the parts I need is just a climate controller uh, uh, and a center cap. I think that's it. I think that's all I need. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Let's go. me struggle bus with that, <laughs> that engine block it was uh yeah it was extremely heavy yeah they ha hardly have anybody working here today uh so that's why i had to do it solo uh so that's fine so i made it out to uh, a jeep i need it and i'm probably walk around and look at some more parts uh probably don't need but i'm probably buy them anyway uh but i do need the most important thing i need is the this uh, window switch here because on my Jeep, the window switch stopped working. So I'm gonna grab that and I was hoping it was something else I needed. Oh, the wheel center caps, but the wheels are gone. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Uh, and I think that's it. Everything else I'm pretty much good with uh, or don't need. But I'm pretty sure it's not the only Jeep around. So. Uh, I'm probably gonna look look around some more and see what else is out there. So let's get that. Uh, uh, I forgot what it was already. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> window switch. Okay, so I just realized the uh, door was even holding on. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, this should have popped up. Let me see if I can just pull it out. two screws holding it. Well, I didn't need the, the whole housing. I just need the switch. That's it. That's all I need. Alrighty. So back from Junkyard Adventures. Um, I, I stopped by my friend Scott's house to clean the uh, Jeep engine just to get it all cleaned up. So it is gonna look a little ashy because of the, the cleaning solution, even though we, we uh, 
wash it off with water and all that good stuff and dry it off with uh, air, it's still gonna look a little ashy. <laughs> but as long as the cylinders look good, and this is all the parts over here, they all gonna look ashy as well. Um, I am gonna put the rockers and some of the bolts and the tumbler I have at home to, you know, just to get the, the everything nice and shiny and clean. I will be putting new uh, pistons. So uh, they have to be hydraulic pressed out. So I have to, I'm gonna wait till he gets back so we can knock those out because I'm, I'm afraid of using that machine because when it push down on that wrist pin, it's a loud pop and it always scares the hell out of me. So I'd rather not even do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if he can uh, bust those out for me. Uh, I got the head down there, the crank, everything is, is just ready to go. Uh, I am going to paint everything, get everything painted. Uh, I'm gonna stick to what I normally do is, is when I do a Jeep engine, yes i always paint it hemi orange because i like it no matter if it's a straight six a v6 or the 4.7 i'm gonna paint a hemi orange because that'll give you an indication and also the details that the engine's been pulled apart been rebuilt painted the correct way the correct way is all black but i don't want it black uh, i want an orange and the uh, cylinder head i want an orange as well so once i get it all together is i'm gonna paint it all orange and mask off everything that I need to mask off and go from there. So until then guys, uh, stay tuned. I still got some more stuff for the element uh, soon, very, very soon. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna attack it, but you guys will see. You gotta stay tuned in order to watch it. Please give me a comment, like, subscribe. Until then guys, I will see you later.